Texas happens to be one of a handful of states being hit the hardest by the baby formula shortage right now. Some moms in other parts of the country are stepping up, though, to help mothers here in our neighborhoods. Our Caroline Vandergriff explaining how they're using social media to create basically their own nationwide support system. Helping families get through this formula shortage can be as simple as going to your local grocery store, taking a picture of the formula aisle, and posting it online. But some Good Samaritans are taking it a step further. I'd like to think of it as moms helping moms. The nationwide formula search Facebook group is on a mission. We've also got um, some that are looking for very specific uh, formulas. Um, my son is four weeks old, preemie and NICU baby. Parents searching for baby formula can connect with others willing to check the inventory at their local stores. Even just being like, hey, um, I'm at this store on these streets and they're empty. Don't even bother coming here. Some are even buying the cans and shipping them directly to families in need. While the shelves are mostly bare in North Texas, other states are seeing a better supply. I've shipped probably 200 cans to, I, I would probably say, 15 or so states, um, the majority of which have been Texas. Emily Swanson is a mom of two who lives in Denver, but grew up in Houston. She created the Nationwide Formula Search Group. And I found friends that are amazing and also have newborns and are dedicated to the cause that are now running around to, you know, 10, 20 stores a day looking for specific things for people. And, and it's just been, it's been incredible to see. Proving it really does take a village to take care of our most vulnerable. People who are willing to meet halfway, I've seen so many um, stories of people thanking each other and I received my package and thank you so much, my baby is able to eat this week or next week and um, it really makes it all worth it. The group is doing its best to weed out scammers and people with bad intentions, but they acknowledge there are some risks involved. For this to work, there has to be faith and trust on both sides. In Arlington, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.